Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to get realistic looking lips on Procreate. So this is going to be so easy, we're going to be using default brushes that's already on Procreate. So I'm going to make sure that this is so easy for you to do and also because you do have to smudge on this and that's why I made sure that the lips that I chose, it wasn't it didn't have too much too many colors to smudge it first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sketch it so for this brush that I'm using is actually free I'm going to try to link it in the, the description actually yeah yeah I'm gonna link it in the description so you can download it it's free and I'm using is O2 and on layer one I'm just going to put the opacity down so I can see what I'm sketching and just ease out the lip. Oh, and also for the thin lines, my size is on 06, between 06 and 07. Then when you're done, you can go check it. And if you were a bit too light with the sketch, you can always duplicate the layer and merge them down. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring this opacity back up and we're gonna call this a sketching layer because you can easily think it's an empty layer. And I've done that mistake before where I've mixed the sketching layer with the painting layer and it's so annoying because you know you don't even notice the whole time and then you're stuck with it so yeah just try to rename it and then now i'm going to color pick the colors so i'm going to use pink for the bottom lips and then a, a darker version of it for the top lip so you're just going to hide that layer and then the brush we're going to be using is a painting brush called the round brush so I know your round brush is going to look like my round brush one but I changed the settings to a thicker version of it you go to properties and to get the same one as mine is you just got to max out the opacity and then the other version of the round brush the first one so I recommend that you duplicate the the actual default one before changing the version to, to my version of the round brush I'm using. Okay, so I always do the bottom lip first and I'm gonna show you a hack in case you don't know this. So instead of like painting all everything in, just go around the outline carefully though, neatly, because it makes your life easier so you don't have to erase stuff. But yeah, neatly around it.
so once you've gone around it like this you're just going to drag and drop the circle and there you go it saves you a lot of time you also want to check it to make sure that the shape looks all right by hiding the sketch layer then you're gonna make a new layer for the painting at the top which kind of looks brown and then do the same thing you can always do it it's just that um if the the painting doesn't connect when you go all around it's not going to fill it in i guess i can show you an example during the tutorial or i'll just show you after doing this one So if you went over the pink one a little bit, just erase it because you want everything to be neat and then fill it in. So I'm going to show you an example how this won't work sometimes. So if you've made them connect, it will work. And if it didn't connect, like say it's halfway, it's just going to go all around the whole thing. So yeah, just... Make sure that it connects so that you can actually fill it in. Okay, so you want your lip to look like this. If you watch, um, I'm going to put her at in here. If you've watched her lip tutorial, hers is kind of similar. And using her lip stamp, it, it looks really realistic. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to create a clipping mask. But I'm not going to ma clip mask it yet because when you go in the and picking in the colors that makes it look realistic just like the picture then you're not gonna see it and that's a mistake i made in my first ever cartoon tutorial that is on my channel uh, right now and i guess i kind of made it hard for hard for people and that you know doesn't don't know how to do it that well so just like pick the colors in make sure it's like accurate this is why you gotta have like clear pick because sometimes they have like greenish colors you know when the quality is just really bad so yeah just take your time my brush size is not always the same when i do this but because the picture is bigger nine percent is all right going over the glossy bits I low-key didn't want to get something that had gloss on it because we would have to go over it and then do the gloss later this is how i do it every day well not every day but this is how i do it with every drawing that i do
By the way, I knew how to do this by watching this tutorial. He uses Adobe Draw. I'm gonna try to link his channel in the description if you wanna learn how to do cartoon. But yeah, he uses Adobe Draw to do it. What I don't get in his tutorial though is like, how does it already look blended when he puts the colors in? If you're someone who's watched it, then you get what I mean. So it should look like this when you're done and then you're just going to remove the background and then if you look closely you're going to see the little gaps we actually missed out and in my first cartoon tutorial I didn't have a base at the bottom with um, picking the colours and stuff. That's probably another reason beginners watching kind of got confused but since we did the base you don't really have to worry at the bottom because it goes with the colours anyways. Right now we're going to start smudging but before we do that though, if you have an iPad I suggest that you um, split screen and look at the picture. If you don't then just like duplicate the picture, bring it up and make it smaller and then just keep looking at it while you're smudging. So we're going to go on the layer with all the colors the brush size does not stay the same so just whatever it doesn't make you lose so much detail but you also want it to be big enough to actually get all the colors actually explaining how i'm smudging it is kind of hard because like i'm i don't know what direction i'm doing it in time but i guess i'm doing it here side to side My brush size right now is like 8% ish. I'm dragging in the colours. I always like my lips looking smooth. And how you get a smooth blend is just you gotta keep blending and just make sure that all the colours are put together nicely. So yeah, you just keep practicing. I always say this and you're gonna notice you're gonna get better. Also, making the brush size bigger every time. When I have gotten most of the colours in together in one area, and right now, yes I know, it doesn't look exactly the same like the, in the picture but you gotta imagine what the lip would look like without the lip gloss
I probably should have done a matte lip so you get what I'm doing more when I'm smudging or what helps is if you smudge out the lip in the real picture and then put in the colors and when you're smudging you'd know what you you're doing and make and you'd feel like you're doing it right so I'm putting the size up a little bit sometimes you have to go in and make the sides darker like it is in the picture then make your brush a little more bigger just make sure everything kind of looks smooth zoom in now we're gonna use the clip I think it looks pretty good now we're gonna do the top lip the same way hide the paint bring back the real picture and drop in the colors If you see a line like this like a crease in the lip you can just like take the paint and just move it upwards I know it would be hard to remember in your brain as a beginner to use that as a crease when you're smudging in but I'll show you how I normally do it I know this won't be easy for a lot of you but for some of you do smudge in a lot of colors and stuff I guess you won't struggle but this is just gonna be hard for people that don't usually use the smudging tool and always use Gaussian blur to blend I really wouldn't recommend using Gaussian blur to try to get a realistic looking lip you lose a lot of detail when you smudge you can add lots of detail So here, you're going to just put that highlight here. If you look here, you can see that I missed a huge spot and I didn't fully color in one of the colors. 
that always kind of happen it's hard to tell when basically some of the colors are the same so yeah okay now we are going to then we're gonna start smudging again so make sure you bring down your brush size again mine's at four percent right now So I'm just smudging out that highlight at the top of her lip and now I'm going back again bringing out bring up my brush My brush size is like 5% now, well between 5 and 9%. So now we're getting into the middle of the lip where she has that little crease I was talking about. Um, your brush size should be like 4 or 5% again and just like keep looking at the picture and I kind of missed a spot so I'm just creating my own with the colors
now I'm focusing more on the creases it's not gonna be perfect just bring the colors up and down in the middle now we're gonna use the clipping mask so we can see how well we did so when you take up the sketch and look closer hmm actually no kind of looks all right I wanted to find a little bit right here a little bit more properly create that crease in the middle so i know i said i would show you how to do the gloss it's just hard to do it when the lip is this big and you have to put so much more detail with the gloss normally when the lips are smaller i would just put little dots of where it's more shinier and, and stuff like that but it's harder this way when it's bigger but you did see how I did it with the lighter shade of the gloss that goes around the lip over there. So this kind of looks good on its own. And she does have some highlights going on at the bottom of her lip as well. I'm just going to leave the tutorial like this because I'm still trying to figure out how to do glossy lips. I'm not that good at it. But... I did this before with um, with this one right here. The same thing that I did, that's what I did here. So yeah, I hope that you like this tutorial and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.